Bungie has revealed their future plans for Triumphs, as well as revealed a sneak peek at how the new Triumph page will look in Beyond Light. As you can see, we have Career Triumphs and Active Triumphs now. Active Triumphs comprise of Triumphs that are still achievable in-game, and is represented by a score that is possible to get during that season. Career score, on the other hand, is your overall Triumphs, meaning it's your total achievements throughout your Destiny 2 career. This consists of all your Triumphs, including those that are now unobtainable. The reason Bungie seems to have gone through this change is due to the fact that they want Triumphs to matter more to the player. By saving your overall Triumph score shows how much effort you have put in previously, while keeping an active score lets you fight on an even battleground in terms of what you can achieve right now. It's also a good way for Bungie to incorporate a guidelines experience as to what you can do in the game, having certain rewards locked behind them such as emblems and lore, and even seasonal currency. Also worth mentioning is that due to the Destiny content vault and planets being vaulted, some seals and titles will also disappear, so if you haven't gotten these seals, now is the time to do so. Those being Chronicler, Reckoner, Shadow, Blacksmith and Wayfarer. Chronicler is all the lore books, Reckoner is for Gambit, Shadow is for all of the Season of Opulence stuff including the Crown of Sorrows raid, Blacksmith is for all of the Season of the Forge stuff including the Scourge of the Past raid, and Wayfarer is all the destinations. So if you really want any of these, now is the time to get them done. Metals, lore and catalysts will also have their own sections to make them more visible and easier to keep track of. All lore up until including Season of Arrivals will be readable even if you haven't collected the missing pages. You can still collect them to complete the book, but in terms of getting that story, it won't matter. Going forward, new lore will always be unlocked through active triumphs and will unlock for everyone when they get added into the career triumph pool. All of your medals, as you can see, are also stored in their own section as well. And as you might have noticed with the catalyst banner is that we can see a lot of catalysts that don't exist in the game yet, such as Air Apparent and Leviathan's Breath to mention a few. Personally, I love these changes. Having triumphs relevant to the gameplay is a great way to keep players invested in the story as well as a great way for Bungie to guide the players as to what they want you to experience. This is doubles for new players since a lot of triumphs are going to be a way for new guardians to get pointers as to what there is to do in the game. As for the new subclasses that has been revealed during the week, I know I've gotten feedback that you guys want to hear about them, but I'm still waiting for the Hunter Showcase to go public before I make a dedicated video talking about all three and what I feel about them. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be really good, so stay tuned for that. Finally, Iron Banner is coming back, starting September 8th and lasting through what that week. Guardians will once again play the customized control mode, so grab your Iron Banner pinnacles because it's about to get sweaty. But what do you think of all these changes, Guardian? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I wanna thank you for watching the video, and I also wanna remind you that if you haven't subscribed, then subscribing to the channel is a great way to stay up to date on all the latest uploads. Until next time, this is TC Spectre, signing off.